What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Storm Collectibles Injustice Gods Among Us Lobo. And so here we have Lobo posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Lobo does come with three different head sculpts. He does come with a big grinning expression which we have on him right now. He does come with an angry neutral expression. And he does come with a grinning, smiling expression with a cigar in his mouth. Lobo also does come with two different hairstyles, two pairs of each. We do get the long dreaded hair that he has on him right now. And then we get a more slick back look for Lobo. He also does come with several sets of hands. We do get a pair of fists. We get a pair of style pose hands. We get a pair of trigger finger hands. And we get a pair of fists. We also do get Lobo's shotgun, which does fit in either of his trigger finger hands, or you can have it stored on his back. His final accessory is, of course, his hook accessory, which looks really nice, and it does clip onto the chain that he has on him. And I think I forgot that he does come with a cigar that you can put in to several of his hands. That's a really nice little accessory. Other than that, Lobo here doesn't come with anything else. I don't know what more you would want him to come with, but... He does look good for what he is, so with his accessories out of the way, guys, let's actually take a look at his details. So here we have a look at the main man, Lobo, and I have to say, Storm Collectibles has done a really good job with their interpretation of Lobo. I do say their interpretation of Lobo because though he is supposed to be the Injustice Lobo, they did take some liberties with the design. Mostly up here in his face, there's something about the face sculpt that is completely different from the Injustice video game. Part of it is the mustache should be much thicker. Lobo had a really thick mustache and thick beard, and I don't think this figure encapsulates exactly how thick that facial hair should be. He has that really skinny mustache, and it should be much thicker. But other than that, they did a really good job with this head sculpt. Like, if you were to look at this... You know that's Lobo. Really do love the detailing around his eyes. They did a really good job with those black markings. And then those eyes, those really bright red eyes. It looks really good. Lobo does have these really good teeth that are painted. They're good. They're not the most uh, detailed teeth that we have seen. You can see they didn't even paint the gums. But from a distance, you're never going to see it. But they did a good job with the sculpt on it at least. Now, I do have him with the long, dreaded hair, the Rob Zombie-ish hair, as I like to call it. You can see it does have these really big, bulky dreads on them. He does come with two different hairstyles, so if you don't want him with these ones, there is one where his hair is more out of his face. Personally, I think this looks better for Lobo. The hair just all over the place just screams Lobo, in my honest opinion. So they did a really good job with the hair and the head sculpt. Though, like I said, it is loosely based off Injustice. The head is a little bit inaccurate. But the costume itself is pretty accurate. If we can just take the head off really fast so we can go on to his details. I normally don't do that, but it's the only way we can actually show off all the detailing on his vest here. And you can see he does have a skull and crossbones uh, pin right there. You can see some rounds on his bandolier right there. Some straps coming out of the vest. Those look really nice. I really love the texturing on the vest. It looks worn. The paint job on it is superb. We do have a couple of studs right here. Those do look good. We have some pouching right here. Then we do have these really nice spikes. Now mine are warped out of the packaging and they are a really soft material so you don't have to worry about them breaking but they are incredibly soft as you can see it doesn't take much to move them and they more than likely will come out warped out of packaging. I do feel like there's something about the torso I'm not a fan of. I think part of it is that he's a little bit too slender right here in the torso. Right here in the lower torso, I think it's good, but it's kind of just straight right here. I think if they had just brought broadened his chest just a little bit, I'd be a little more okay with it, because he kind of does look like a tube just going down, and that's a little bit unfortunate. They did a really good job with 
the veins on his arms those look really nice on the back of his vest it does say bite me fanboy and you can see the skull with the wings and i do like that this is actually sculpted it's not just tampoed on it's sculpted and painted wonderfully so i think storm collectibles has done a really good job with that so let's put his head back on really fast now on this arm we do wrap the chain around and one thing i do like about it is that you can unwind it all the way and it stays on storm collectibles actually link the chains together right here in the at the wrist right there so that is really nice so you don't have to worry about that coming off one downside to it is every time you interchange the hands that chain will fall off i that's just one thing to note but moving on I really do like the detailing on the gloves. You can see he has those really nice dusted knuckles built into his gloves. Those look really good. Really like the fingerless gloves. On this side, we do have a gauntlet with these really nice spikes. And just like with his vest, these are a softer plastic. So this will bend and get out of the way as you need it to. And it does line up to this glove. As you can see, it can line up some of the patterns. Uh, kind of, sort of, but it's not the best. I think if you do that, they almost kind of line up, but they really don't. So it's up to you if you want to line those up or if you just want to have it there. And I think that's the only difference. Yeah, that's the only difference right here on the gloves. So overall, I really like the look of the torso. Now, having a look at his legs, I feel like his thighs are just a little bit too big. Uh, comparing it with his waist and his... Uh, abdomen here you can see his thighs do come out a lot and I mean a lot he has really really thick thighs almost as if all he does at the gym is deadlift and squats that's pretty much how thick his thighs are but I love the detailing here we do have a couple of grenades which are nicely painted but I kind of feel like this part of the grenade should be, have been painted as well we have some pouches right here really do like that skull right here on his build you can see he has more pouches right up there more pouches in the back we do have a chain that is sculpted onto the figure it's not a separate chain which i'm kind of glad because that would get caught in this part right here this is of course is the little holster for his shotgun really do like the knee pads and one thing i really like about this is that it captured lobo's knee pads perfectly anytime you see lobo he always has these distinct knee pads and i think they did a really good job just capturing that in this figure you can see his greaves are nicely done the dry brushing on it is wonderful really like these side fins coming out of it it does make him look a little more menacing we have some armor plating right here on the back just loving the detailing on him and he does have some armor plating right here in the boots so overall they did a really great job sculpting this figure another fantastic outing by storm collectibles and i've never had an issue with their sculpted figures so it's just really good so with that out of the way guys let's actually get them compared to other figures you may have in your collection here we have lobo posed next to a marvel legend cyclops and a dc multiverse superman here we have Lobo posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Lobo posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally, here we have the Storm Collectibles Lobo posed next to the Mattel Collect and Connect Lobo. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually run through his articulation really fast. Now Lobo does have the same barbell joint that we've seen in all Storm Collectible figures where we have a barbell running from the head into the middle of the torso and that does give him quite a bit of range of movement he can look up to about right there he can look down quite a bit so i do like that he can tilt his head side to side really do enjoy this movement you can see how nicely he moves his head he can turn left and right although you want to avoid those spikes on his shoulder and his vest does get in the way chances are if you rotate his head too much you might accidentally pop his head his hair off not his head just his hair so do be aware of that depending on which hair you have him with depends on how much movement you have on the head we do have ball sockets going from the shoulder into the arm so we do get this really nice butterfly effect so that does move in and out 
Uh, let's see if I mess around with it too much while it pop out. Because I have been known to pop Storm Collectible shoulders out like nothing. No, this arm didn't pop out, thankfully. It does move around really nicely in there, and it is kind of tight, so be aware of that. It does go all the way around. It goes out to the side, only to about there. With that ball joint, does go all the way horizontal. We do have a bicep swivel. Works perfectly fine. He does have a double bend at the elbow, but this gauntlet does get in the way. Let's see, giving him... Eh, we get a little better than 90 degrees. So if you want to have this gauntlet on, you can. It does hinder a little bit of articulation. Then we have a ball hinge style wrist, so we do have in and out movement. We can rotate that up to have up and down movement. So overall, really like the articulation there. We do have a ball joint right here in the upper torso, and that does give us a lot of range. Does turn left and right, leans side to side really nicely, leans back, leans forward, and eh, could be better, tilt side to side it really good. Then we do have another ball joint down here at the waist, so combining both those joints, he leans back a lot, so I do like that. Crunching forward, if you don't catch the belt, yeah, he crunches forward really nicely for a guy his size. The thighs could be done a little bit better. They do go out all the way, or, well, almost horizontal, so I do like that. They do go back, but you can see because of how thick they are, they do crunch this soft pelvis piece. So that is a little bit unfortunate. Going out to the side, does go out to the side, only to about there. Kind of stiff on mine, so do be careful with that. We do have a thigh swivel, which works perfectly well. Knees only go up to about there, a little better than 90 degrees, and the knee pads are a little bit soft, so you don't have to worry about those bending or breaking. We don't have rotation at the gauntlet or the greave or the foot, but we do have a hinge, which goes back to about that far, comes forward only to about that far, so it's not that better than neutral. We do have forward facing pin for rocker ankle, which is nice, and then we do have a generous toe hinge. So overall, Lobo here has a pretty decent amount of articulation, and I really like the work that Storm put into this figure. So what we're going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Storm Collectibles Lobo pose for my final thoughts. And overall, I think Storm Collectibles has done an amazing job with this figure. Everything about this figure looks good, with the exception of maybe the upper torso being a little bit too small. He kind of does look like a tube after the waist, how it just goes straight up. If they had flared that out just a little bit, just to give him a more V-shape in his upper torso, I think he would aesthetically look better. But once you get him posed... You really don't notice it that bad, so it's not a big deal that you're going to be complaining about it. I think they did a really good job with what they had. Now, uh, I did mention this in his detail. He is loosely based off the Injustice Lobo, and the only reason I'm saying loosely is there's something about the face that isn't right. I think it's the mustache being too thin. It could be the facial hair. It could just be the face sculpt in general is completely wrong, but... He does look like an Injustice Lobo, and that's pretty much what they were going for. If you are looking for Lobo right now, he is still available on sites like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, or Amazon. I picked mine up from Big Bad Toy Store, and he did run me, unfortunately, $100. That's pretty much what big characters like this will run you in Storm Collectibles, and I have no problem paying that because the amount of detail we get is phenomenal. The paint is superb. And the accessories are exactly what you would expect them to be. So you really can't ask for more for a figure that's this detailed, this articulated. And I think $100 is a fair price point. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Storm collectible videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.